Alain Emile Louis Marie Poer, French, Al P. The 17th of April 1909 to the 9th of December 1996, was a French centrist politician affiliated first with the Popular Republican Movement and later with the Democratic Center. He served as a senator for Val de Marne from 1946 to 1995. He was president of the Senate from the 3rd of October 1968 to the 1st of October 1992, and in that capacity, served twice as the country's interim president. A leading candidate in the 1969 presidential election, he was defeated by Georges Pompidou in the second round. Life and career Poer was born in ablon sur seine Val-de-Marne. He graduated from the Lycée louis le grand and the Lycée Saint-Louis in Paris and later studied law. On 19 August 1938 he married Henriette Tugler, with whom he had one daughter, Marie Agnes. His political career began in 1938, when he became a junior executive officer in the Ministry of Finance. Later he served on several positions before entering the Senate. Chairman, Ministry of Finance Liberation Committee from 20 July 1944. Head of Social Services, Ministry of Finance from the 1st of January 1945. Mayor of ablon sur seine from the 1st of January 1946. Sec of State for Finance and Economic Affairs, GOVT of Robert Schuman. Sec of State for the Budget, GOVT of Henri Coyle, a longtime ally and political protege of Schuman. Poer was elected to the Senate in 1952, where he remained for over 40 years until 1995. As senator, he continued to serve in some governments and as his hometown mayor. Like Schuman, he was known for strongly pro-European integration positions. He served as president of the European Parliament from 1966 to 1969. Topic. Interim Presidency of the Republic According to the order of succession established by the Constitution of the Fifth Republic, the President of the French Senate assumes the nation's presidential powers and duties following the President's death or resignation, and becomes interim head of state until the next election. Poer's first service as interim president came on 29 April 1969, when Charles de Gaulle resigned. Previously he was one of de Gaulle's most notable political opponents and played a key role in the successful No! campaign in de Gaulle's final referendum. During his interim presidency Poer continued to serve as Senate president. However, he resided during this time in the Élysée Palace as acting president. Initially Poer tried to recruit General Marie-Pierre Koenig as a candidate for the presidency and offered him his full support. Koenig, however, declined to run, citing his poor health and stating that one general should not replace another general as the head of state. After Koenig's refusal, Poer himself announced his candidacy. Due to favorable polls he was viewed as the strongest opponent of Georges Pompidou and the only non-Gaullist candidate who had a real opportunity to win the election. Lack of a long-standing party machine, however, hurt his chances. During his short term in office Poer's main task was overseeing the incoming election, in which he himself participated. However, during his tenure he took some major initiatives, for example, he fired longtime de Gaulle confidant Jacques Foccart, a secretary general for African affairs and, and officially, chief of the Gaullist secret services. He returned to the Élysée after Pompidou's election. Poer also ordered the directors of France's state-controlled radio and television networks to keep public media politically neutral and refrain from acting in the interest of any particular party. His successors followed this precedent. He also ordered the redeployment of a large police force in Paris in the wake of the May 1968 events. During his tenure, Poer served with the Gaullist government of Prime Minister Maurice Cove de Merville, de Gaulle's close ally. Some even referred to this period as the first cohabitation. Despite sharp political differences, Poer was widely credited for model cooperation with the government. His accomplishments helped Poer, previously largely unknown to the public, develop significant popularity during his interim presidency, despite his defeat in the election. He served again as interim president in 1974 after Pompidou died in office. This time, however, he did not run for his own term and stepped down after Valéry Giscard d'Estaing was elected.
Topic: Political career. Interim President of the French Republic, April to June 1968, April to May 1974 Governmental functions Secretary of State for Budget, September to November 1948 Secretary of State for the Navy, 1957-1958 Electoral mandates European Parliament President of the European Parliament, 1966-1969 Senate President of the Senate of France, 1968–1992 Senator of Val-de-Marne, 1946–1995 Mayor of Ablon-sur-Seine, 1946–1983